Welcome to Kevin's European Garage, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Pittsburgh Crossbar Dent Repair Kit. So here I got this Pittsburgh Crossbar Dent Repair Kit. Uh, this thing was like 16 bucks from Harbor Freight, and uh, you know there's a lot of mixed reviews on it. Some people break it. Uh, some people say it doesn't work at all. Mostly people break it. But I figured for sixteen dollars, you know what, you know how how can it hurt to not give it a try? See if it actually does work. So uh, I'm gonna use this on the uh, on my mini, and uh, we're gonna try to see if I can pull out a couple little dings on it, and uh, see if uh, you know if it was fifteen dollars well spent or if it was just a waste. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't break it. So here's the kit over here, and. Uh, we got a glue gun and we got some uh, glue and obviously the uh, little triangle piece to put over here. I'll put that on later. And then I guess this is for, um, you know, maybe marking your area that you want to get the dent from. And here's a crossbar. So you can adjust it for how wide you want to pull a dent on this thing. And it's got uh, two different... Uh, Two different pullers on it. Okay, so this one, this one looks like it's for like a bigger dent, and you got this one over here. It looks like this is for a smaller dent. And then you have the uh, release agent for the glue. That's what this is, and a little scraper to help kind of push the glue off of the car. And uh, handy instructions, which uh, pretty much we don't really need. And I imagine that, uh, yeah, these things are really uh, useful so uh, all right let's get uh, let's go in on this uh, on this mini let's try to pull uh, our first dent on this thing or at least our first ding I don't have any dents I just got a bunch of dings so let's uh, let's try let's try this uh, on that okay so this is the ding that I'm going to try it on you see right over here something a little small figured I wouldn't try something too hard at first see if this thing pulls it out so uh, let's get set up and let's uh, let's pull out this little ding. Okay, so now I got the glue on the little stick over here. So I'm gonna put that down over here, push that in, let it sit. They say approximately 10 seconds or something like that. So I'm just gonna let it get on there and now I'll put those crossbars on. I think the trick to making this thing work and staying and not having problems is pulling directly up on this straight. You gotta make sure that you have this thing twisted right. If you try to pull it at an angle, a little bit off at an angle, I think that's what's causing it. That's what's, that's why this thing is breaking for people. But obviously I will find out shortly. So we're just gonna let it sit there for at least uh, approximately about 30 seconds or so and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's dry by then and we'll give it a pull. Okay, I think it's been sufficient time, so let's uh, let's give this thing a try. And that wasn't very successful for the first time around, now was it? Let's see how this stuff comes, at least it comes off the car easy. All right, we'll try this again. Okay, so we got attempt number two, glue. Okay, so I got this, uh, I got this on there, it's glued. Uh, you said wait, I guess. They say 10 seconds, but uh, obviously I'll just wait a little bit longer, like, you know, uh, make sure because it's still a little soft uh, when I tap on it. So uh, let's just go again for another 10, 30 seconds or whatever, 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute. And then we'll try pulling out one more time. Okay, so now it seems to be su sufficiently dry. And uh, let's put this crossbar back on again and start pulling. Fortunately, it looks like the ding is there still. Um, maybe you have to try this multiple times. Maybe it's not the best ding to pull it on. Maybe it's not big enough. Um, and that's why I'm not getting a good result on it. I will uh, try this again. So I'm gonna try this again over here, but I'm gonna try to do more targeted. So it's right on that little spot that it's actually got it there. So I'll put the glue on.
and uh, now I'll let this sit for you know the minute or so until it's uh, dry. Okay, this thing's had sufficient time to cool down now, so let's try putting this thing out again. Like I said before, just gotta try to make sure that the thing is level. All right, let's go. <laughs> Didn't really take much. Yeah, I don't know if this di this ding is too small to try to pull out or what, because I'm just not really being successful at it. Uh, let me see if we can find a, another another one on this car. Unfortunately, this car doesn't really have a lot of dings on it, so uh, I don't really have much to choose from. So okay, so I'm gonna do attempt number two. And uh, you can kind of see when I go back and forth that there's a, there's a little indentation in the door. So I'm gonna try to pull this thing out, see if it goes away. Unfortunately, I just don't have any really deep dings. I thought this would be uh, easy enough to show with this, but uh, there's really not much going on on this car, which I guess is a good thing. So um, I'm gonna try to pull this out and see if this works. All right, so I got the thing loaded up with the glue again. Put it on here. Press it in. Wait the more than 10 seconds and uh, get back and try it again. All right, try it again. Make sure this thing is centered on here. Make sure it's pulling flat, pulling straight up and down. Besides these cups, I got a little pivot in there. You can get it down there straight. All right, so let's try this again. Well, the verdict is, uh, yeah, it actually, uh, it actually pulled it out a little bit. I mean, it is, there's still a little something there, but is definitely less noticeable than it was before. Um, I'm gonna try it one more time and uh, see what happens. Okay, and uh, let's put this on the mark again. The seam is. So, like they said, it's gonna wait again and. Uh, Give it a try. Okay, so one last time on this one little ding. It's more like a crease, a vertical crease, so. Let's see. All right, uh, there's just an ever so slightly little tiny crease left over here. But all in all, I mean, this thing actually works out pretty good, um, for especially for, for $16. I bet if I kept on going with it, maybe one more time, I can try to get out that little piece. And it's so little now compared to where it was before. Let's see if I can show you where it is now. So it used to be right here and uh, right there. I used to really go back and forth with it. You used to see the little ding. But uh, now you really can't see it anymore. Like it's, there's that fluctuation in the paint is kind of gone. So yeah, I would say that uh, this will get you about 90%, uh, maybe 100 if you keep on working at it a couple more times. You know, I'm just gonna do another one, try uh, another before and after, and we'll see how that one goes. So I'm gonna try this one right over here. So we can do the before and after. You can kind of see the crease on it. Right here, right there. So I'm gonna set it up, I'll do it, and I'll do it, uh, I'll do an after and see how it comes out. There still is ever so slight um, ding still left inside there, a little crease. But I mean, it is like 90% gone. I don't think you're ever gonna get 100% on this on this stuff, 
but I think you can probably get about, you know, 90, 95% of the way there. And compared to some of what it would look like beforehand, just that little bit of uh, improvement should be really good. I think this is a pretty decent product. So thanks for checking out my review on the Pittsburgh Crossbar Dent Remover Kit. I think it's actually a pretty good kit for like $15.99 or whatever it is at Harbor Freight. This thing is actually great. You know, it actually pulled out a couple things that I tried. Uh, I didn't get 100%. I would say it's about 90%, but you know something for $15.99, 90% is pretty good. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have a lot of big dings on it or anything like that, so I can't really get in there and actually take something out. Maybe one day if I get another vehicle, like my 911 doesn't have anything, my Cayenne isn't that bad, I don't have any really big dings or anything on there. I got a little bunch of small ones, so it's going to be harder. And they say you're not supposed to use this on aluminum. I think it's probably because the aluminum is really stiff and it doesn't pull out as easy as the steel. I've been watching a couple dentless paint removal guys try to take out dings on uh you know, on the uh, aluminum bodied cars, and uh, they say it's, it's a lot more work, so maybe that's why they say not to use it on aluminum. But uh, for $15.99, this is a really good deal. You might take you about two or three times on the uh, ding before it really pulls out all the way. Maybe if you keep on going five or six times, maybe you can get out 100%, but I only did it about two or three times on each of the dings. And uh, I would also suggest getting some more uh, sticks of glue because just for the couple, two that I was working on or three, I went through a full stick and I started to get onto my second one. It only comes with three. So uh, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check back and subscribe. Thanks.